Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to answer the question of what is a Google Spreadsheet. If you're interested in creating documents, sharing documents, and just using the entire Google Drive or Google Docs platform, go ahead and check out my 2013 video series on using Google Drive. And if you're interested in all the details about using Google Spreadsheet, stay tuned for the video that I'm going to be publishing later this week that is an in-depth tutorial on how to use Google Spreadsheet. But for this tutorial, I'm going to answer the question of what is a Google Spreadsheet. So I hope it helps and enjoy. Okay, so if you take a look at my screen, we're actually looking at a Google spreadsheet right now. And very simply put, a Google spreadsheet is a spreadsheet that is in Google format that was created using Google Drive, which was formerly known as Google Docs. So Google Drive and Google Docs is this whole word processing suite that allows you to create documents, share documents, store documents, and really almost everything that you do with Microsoft Office, but it's done online using Google. So you may have heard of the term Google Spreadsheet either being thrown around on the internet or you may have received an email that mentioned a Google Spreadsheet. So you can see here is a Google Spreadsheet. It's got some test information in here. Um, it looks pretty similar to the old school Microsoft Office. Like I said, if you want to know how to use this tool and create spreadsheets, go ahead and check out some of my other tutorials. Uh, but I'm just trying to explain what this is. So you may have seen this word because you may have gotten an email that said something like this. I've shared an item with you and it might say test spreadsheet and it has this little green icon um, and if you have a Google account this is when somebody has created a spreadsheet and they've shared it with your email address now if you have a Google account you can click on this item and it's going to open up just like this and then depending on if the user gave you edit permissions you might be able to make changes if they just gave you view permissions you'll be able to see all the data but you won't be able to make changes if you don't have a Google account, however, and you click on this link here, it's not going to work for me because I do have a Google account and I'm logged in, it's going to ask you to log in. In order to view a Google spreadsheet, you absolutely have to have a Google account. There's nothing I can do about that. There's really nothing anybody can do about that because uh, it's, it's like trying to view a Microsoft Office document without having Microsoft Office on your computer. You have to have a Google account in order to view the document. However, there is a second option. And oftentimes, somebody will share a Google spreadsheet with you like this, and they'll just assume you have a Google account or they won't even think about it, but you don't have a Google account and maybe you don't want one. What you can do is you can email them back and say, hey, look, I really appreciate you sharing the document with me, but I don't have a Google account. Could you share it with me in Microsoft Office format? And if they know how to use Google Drive uh, and if they've been pretty comfortable with it, they will know how to convert their Google document, their Google spreadsheet, into an Excel document. So you can see I have a second email here that I sent myself, which contains the exact same document, but it's in Microsoft Office format. So you could open it up in Microsoft Office, edit it, make changes, and then re-email it to somebody. So if I just glance at this document, and I'm going to hit the view button to view it in my browser, you'll notice that it's got all the same information as the test spreadsheet over here in Google Drive. So that's what a Google spreadsheet is. I hope this helped. Like I said, if you're interested in more information, I have a four-part video series on Google Drive. Everything you need to know, sharing, collaborating, creating documents, storing documents, organizing all of your documents. And I am going to be producing a very detailed tutorial specifically on Google spreadsheet, how to create spreadsheets, and even add charts to your spreadsheets and all of the fine granular details. So I really hope this helped. If it did, I would really appreciate a like or a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.